uh, we also will help you if you need advice. Because we got some people that give some good advice, some bad advice, and some ugly advice. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, he just doesn't want to be ugly. All right. Uh, so, who has an issue? And we'll help you out. Anybody? My hair is bald. Your hair is balding? <laughs> <laughs> Cheat with? Me. Me. Huh? 
what? With Brad? Oh. With Brad. What's she saying? Pass it up? With her. With her. Alright, so I'm sure this is believable. Uh, her boyfriend cheated with uh, the girl who, uh, well, I can understand. So, alright. Uh, <laughs> with being uh, cheated on. Um, <laughs> it seems to me uh, like you, if you're still friends with her, uh, you can probably still be friends with him. Uh, just get on with your life. Uh, he's already gotten on with his, and she's already gotten on with his. <laughs> just, just take it one day, one day at a time, and I'm sure everything will eventually go back to normalcy and you can just find someone else, someone better, someone that you, that deserves you. Yeah. Yeah. This place empties out real fast, so there's not a lot of witnesses hanging around when it's just the two of you, and there's a good chance that she's going to need a ride or something from <laughs> you, so, you know, wait for her after, cut her throat, give her a ditch, don't worry about it, really. <laughs> to worry about her because she's going to die from AIDS in about three and a half weeks anyways. Oh. Because I know Chad. I know Chad. Chad is an asshole. And the thing is, this is what I would do to Chad if I was you. You know, as you said previously, you probably know where he lives. You probably dated him for a good week and a half at least, right? At least to learn his first name, maybe his last. Oh, if you have his last, you can go even farther with this. Find Chad, find where he lives. He probably has roommates. His roommates are probably his friends. Okay, you take those roommates, you cut their heads off, right? <laughs> and you take those roommates' heads, you put them on pipes, right? And you put those roommates' heads in his mirror, right? So when he wakes up in the morning, he's like, oh, hey, Jonathan, but he's all sleepy and stuff. He doesn't really realize that it's just his freaking head. And you leave, like, a recorder inside the skull and, like, a little light that, like, blinks like life is going in. But it's not. And he thinks he's sleeping his head down, he's like, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, I don't know what's going on, right? So he continues down this path with all of his friends, family, pets, things like that. And so he finally time we realize he's in our house full of corpses and dead things. And, and he's just going to completely, it, his head will explode. And you'll be there with the camera to see the head explode. That way you can kind of get that cool, like, thing. And you can put that on YouTube and make a lot of money. And you can actually come out positive. Problem solved.